Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to dive into the NHV boot once again and guide you on how to clone a 120GB GBT disk to a larger 250GB disk using Macrium Reflect 8. This process can be incredibly useful when you're running out of space on your current disk and need to upgrade to a larger one without losing any data or reinstalling Windows. We'll walk you through the entire process step by step, ensuring a smooth and successful disk cloning experience. Plus, we'll show you how to use the extendable partition cloning in the Macrium Reflect to make sure that the C drive on the destination disk is larger, allowing you to take full advantage of the larger hard disk. To get started, make sure to boot your computer from the NHV boot, the rescue toolkit we introduced in the previous video. Please see the link in the video description down below on how to create that USB boot. Once you're in the NHV boot environment, launch Macrium Reflect. In the Macrium Reflect interface, navigate to the Create Backups tab, where you will find two options for creating disk images and creating files and folder backup. Choose the source disk on the right panel, which in our case is disk 2. You will see a link clone this disk below it. Click on it to begin the cloning process. On the next page, you will see a summary of the source disk and its partitions. Below that, you will find the destination disk options. In our scenario, we want to clone the disk to a new and empty 250GB disk, which is disk 1. Click on Select the disk to clone to and choose disk 1 as the destination. This ensures that all the data from the source disk will be copied over to the new disk. Before we kickstart the cloning, let's explore the advanced options available in the Macrium Reflect. These options allow you to customize the cloning process according to your specific needs. By default, Macrium Reflect enables the Perform the Intelligent Sector Copy option, which copies only the sectors that are in use on the source file system. This will help to optimize the cloning process and save time. Additionally, there are other settings selected by default, such as Verify the Source File System before the cloning and Rapid Delta Clone, which copies only the differences between the source and the target disks. With those features enabled, you will see that the cloning speed is very fast. If you're cloning an SSD to another SSD, it's recommended to enable the Enable SSD Trim option as it helps maintain the performance and efficiency of the SSD. However, if you're using a traditional HDD, there's no need to enable this setting as HDDs do not benefit from SSD Trim functionality. Once you've made your desired selections, click OK to confirm. Now, let's focus on an important part of the process, the Copy Partition menu. This menu allows you to choose how the partitions will be copied from the source disk to the destination disk. There are two options available. The first option is Exact Partition Offset and Length. When you select this option, Macrium Reflect will create an exact copy of the source partition by replicating its starting position and size on the destination drive. This option is particularly useful in scenarios where you need to ensure that the clone partition matches the original partition precisely. However, in our case, we want to utilize the extendable partition cloning feature in Macrium Reflect to make the C drive larger on the destination disk. To do this, we'll select the second option, which is Shrink or Extend to fill the target disk. This option will adjust the size of the Windows partition during the cloning process, ensuring that the C drive on the destination disk is larger and takes advantage of the additional storage space. Once you've made your selection, click on Next to proceed. On the following screen, carefully review the summary of the cloning operation to ensure that all the settings are correct. Double check the source and destination disks, the advanced options you've selected, and the partition copying method. Once you are satisfied with the settings, click Finish to start the cloning process. Now, depending on the size of your disk and the speed of your system, the cloning process may take some time. Macrium Reflect will handle the entire process automatically, copying the data from the source disk to the destination disk. You can sit back, relax, and let Macrium Reflect do its magic. On the screen, 
you'll be able to see the progress of the cloning operation, and you will notice that it's relatively fast and efficient. Once the cloning process is complete, you'll need to boot up your computer with the new hard drive. If necessary, remember to change the boot order in your BIO settings to ensure that your system boots from the new disk. After successfully booting up the new hard drive, take a moment to verify Windows activation. To do this, go to the search bar and type activation settings. This will bring up the Windows activation settings where you can ensure that Windows is activated properly on your newly cloned disk. And there you have it. You have successfully cloned the 120GB GBT disk to a larger 250GB one using Macrium Reflex extended cloning feature. By following these steps, you have expanded the storage capacity of your C drive and ensured that all your data and Windows settings are preserved. Basically, that is all about migrating Windows to a new SSD using the Macrium Reflex 8. If you found this video helpful, please support us by clicking on the subscribe button to see our next video. Thank you for watching.